There's a whole lot of politics going on here at City Hall as council prepares to appoint a replacement for the late veteran councillor Pam McConnell, who passed away in July. It appears to be a tight race between two frontrunners. McConnell was also the former deputy mayor and was well known for her fierce advocacy for social justice issues. She passed away in July after an illness. Her shoes will not be easy to fill. Toronto Centre Rosedale has millions of dollars of development slated for the waterfront, not to mention the ongoing redevelopment of Regent Park. Now, the two candidates that appear to be the front runners both have very interesting stories. First, let me introduce you to Michael Cook. Now, he was once homeless himself and has the backing of former Mayor Barbara Hall, as well as Pam McConnell's family, who has been seen coming here to City Hall, lobbying councillors on his behalf. Why do you want to be appointed to Ward 28? Well, I think it's really important that somebody who has the same values and principles as uh, Pam McConnell had takes a position. I'm a progressive person and I think that we need to continue with progressive ideas in War 28. And you have quite an interesting life story. You were once homeless yourself. Yeah, and I think that brings a different perspective to how you see things in your community when you see other people who are suffering from homelessness and poverty or being marginalized because they're newcomers. Often, you know, racialization plays a role in how people are being treated in our city. I want a more equitable more equal city for people that we don't leave anybody behind. Now another main candidate is Lucy Troisi, who used to be a bureaucrat here at City Hall and she grew up in poverty in Regent Park. Why do you want to be appointed in Ward 28? Well Ward 28 has been my life. I was born in Regent Park, born and raised in Regent Park. Mm -hmm. I the, either lived or worked or volunteered in the ward my entire life. Uh, my 30-year career with the City of Toronto allows me to hit the ground running and continue with Pam's long legacy of helping others. Do you echo her beliefs and, and her goals? Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm a child that grew up in poverty, and so I know what the meaning, the true meaning is mm -hmm. to uh, benefit from all the programs and services that City City Hall provides, as well as all sorts of great agencies in the neighborhood. Now, both candidates say they will not run in the next election. And another well-known candidate that is often seen here at City Hall is Susan Gapka. And if appointed, she would become the first openly transgender councillor here in Toronto. And if you'd like to see a full list of all 35 candidates, go to citynews.ca.